Yes, sisters, now we'll continue. This uh, unfulfilled neighbor bondage, bonding stage we saw. We'll come to the next stage, 6 to 12, 12 years. This is very important. 6 to 12, early teen, that's before the teen, they are connected to the school. 6th age to 12th age, the child is connected to the teacher. If you come across any child who is always telling the best person now in my life, my friend is my teacher, that means the ideal teacher. But unfortunately, children between 6 to 12, they don't like the school, they don't like the teachers. This is a very big shame for our system because we have too many children and too limited scope of the teachers to understand the child. They don't spend time for each child. It is not possible practically. So 6 to 12 year old, the child needs teacher's bondage. If you are not connected to your school teachers at the age of 1st to 5th standard, that means you will have your, that consequence, the school bonding stage. So if you are not connected to school, if you are not respected, if you are not guided properly at the school years uh, from age 6 to 12, you come across low self-esteem. You have uncomfortable in social situations. You don't know how to live. You have procrastination. You have a lot of problems with anger. You don't know how to say, uh, you show anger. Also, you are telling lie. You know, the first lie in your life. Has any sister spoken lie here in this in your life? Has anybody? I think our sister don't speak lie, isn't it? No. Yes. Uh, everybody speaks lie. Uh, somehow directly or indirectly. But some people also say that they don't speak like it's very good, something very, very good. And uh, the, you, what I want to say is, remember the first lie in your life. First time you said lie, how much you are struggling, the whole sweating, the shivering, everything because you told a lie, because you never knew how to say lie. Till your age is six, at the age of seven starts reasoning, that's the age where you start to say yes and no, good and bad, right and wrong, all those things. So, you know that your first lie was between the year 6 to 12. In the first school year only starts this telling lie. Because you, the teachers are connected to that. They are part of the parcel of your uh, teacher. Uh, sometimes the children, they want to make a lie, a white lie. They say they don't like the teacher, they don't know how to say Instead, they say, Mommy, my stomach is paining, my stomach is not okay, like that. If they want to say, Mommy is going to hospital, will she go to hospital? No, 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 Mommy, Mommy, I want to sleep. So the Mommy says, Sleep. That's what they want, the children want. When they come, the school going is cancelled, well, they enjoy it. Because they don't want to see that the teacher. This is the unfulfilled situation with the teacher, unfulfilled teacher wanting. They feel unfulfilled. So, the lying, the telling lie comes at that time. They start suppressing their anger only at that particular time. They don't want to do certain homework because this is the time, because of the lack of proper. Low self-esteem is a very big issue for religious people. Most of the religious people live with low self-esteem. Very soft-spoken, very gentle, very calm, very quiet, very peaceful. Do only what is told, otherwise don't do anything. This is not good. So, low self-esteem is part and parcel of unfulfilled teacher's bonding which results in some kind of religious life today. Now, I am going to the last stage, 13th to 19th year, adolescent stage. You say this particular stage starts as teenage, 13 to 19. This age is the last stage. I have put only 17 that I added to 18, 19. Don't think this age is this year, this the partition of the year is exactly fitting 1 to 5, 5 to 6, 6 to 7, no, no, no. It is overlapping, it's overlapping. But for general understanding, we made creation. So 13th year is the teenage starting. No, today the children, girls, boys, they get teenage, even adolescent, they become puberty, all these things come even earlier stage. So therefore, it's all coming differently. Their experience comes differently. So 13 is not the age of beginning of the teen, teen uh, for all the children like that, okay. So peer bonding, from 13 to 19 or 13 to 17, the children, the teenage boys and girls, 
they are not led by the parents anymore. They are not led by the teachers anymore. They are not led by any uh, family or neighborhood, but they are led by their own friends, boys and girls. First, they are like boys among girls. Among boys, they become friends, girls, girl friendly with the girls. And then slowly, they will start appreciating the girl is started loving boy, boy girls, boy starts loving girl, the shift changes, they end up with the one person. So you'll find the peer bonding stage where you start wearing, the girls start wearing boys dress, boys are wearing like a girls with that bell bottom, all the long hair, all this kind of things because they want to say we are all equal, that kind of peer bonding, they're connected to that, the color, the use of dress, everything is connected to that. So, what we need at that particular age is understanding. They are, because they are caught in between adulthood and childhood, they are caught in between and they don't know what is happening. So many things are taking place in their body. Their bodily changes. These boys get all this uh, moustache is coming. They don't know what is it. The tone is changing. The girls change their body. The whole thing is changing. So, lot of things. There is nobody to speak to them. They don't know how to speak, what to speak. There is nobody to understand. So, this is a very big issue at that particular time. So, unfulfilled adolescent need. What is really happening if they are not connected to their friends, if there is nobody to talk to, they come across hero worship. There are lot of loneliness, trouble with authorities, they don't like authorities, identity confusion, they don't know what they are, who they are, they have unrealistic dream. Everybody wants to become like, what is that, at the teenage time, Abdul Kalam. I want to become Abdul Kalam. I want to become IAS office. I, then I want to become a collector. I want to become a prime minister. Nobody wants to become a normal human being. This is the problem. Unrealistic dream. That's a very big issue. Instability, they are not stable in anything. So this is all connected to lack of adolescent needs of having proper bondage with the peer group. In case you had come across a painful teenage, there is a problem. You can linger on. Sometimes the teenage boys and girls end up with the drug abuse, alcoholism, all this excessive use of uh, mobile, all these things, addiction, all comes at this particular age. So at this particular age they are looking for understanding. They are looking, they want to be first one to talk but they are, they don't like parents talking every time. They are talking every time. That's a very big problem for them. Adolescent stage they want to dialogue. The father and the son you find they love to listen to each other. Mother and the daughter they want to be like a friend. That's very important. The girls are very important. Today, sometimes, un unfortunately, mothers don't understand their need. Today, the girls and boys, they are very free. Once I came across, when I was doing my social director, one, they used to have this, uh, uh, some government officials coming for prayer services. Then one family, they wanted to bring their daughter to um, have counseling. Then I was ready, I was waiting, then the girl came to and the girl, girl told, I have no problem, the girl, the father can listen, but mother should be there, but father should not be there. I said, as you like, for me there is no problem, it's better to have your own father. She said, no, no, no I want only mother and the father should do, not the, her father, but the priest. So I was there. Then she started speaking everything, whatever she is happening, whatever she is happening to her child, her girls, everything she wants to talk, her love affair, everything. Mother feels very shy. She has educated lady, but she is very shy to listen to these things. But the girl is telling, no, 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 I want to talk to you, everything, everything I want to talk to you. What, which boy came, which girl came, everything, what all things. So sometimes they want to dialogue, but the parents are not ready to understand their need. They want to be freely, friendly way of talking. It's very good because today's teenage children are very bold enough. It's a good thing, but the parents should be open to that. Use parables. Don't scold directly, this and that. This is not the way, that's not the way. They don't like to listen, but rather they want examples to say which is better, which is not better. So these are the things I want to share because now you come across which stage you are received 
good growth, which stage he brought a lot of difficulties, which bondage, which bonding was missing in your life. Sisters, now I am giving to the next question for your reflection. Just go through this, the stage. The point is, what are the negative traits you face in yourself today, in your personal life, in your community life, as a result of the lack of bonding with others? In your communication, in your lifestyle, you may be having a lack of bonding with the mother did not like you, mother womb, or the mother after the birth was not with you, or father was not having sufficient time with you, or there was a problem in your family at that particular time, 18 months to 3 years, or neighborhood, what all things happened to neighbors, lack of neighbors, or school bondage, in the school you were nobody, nobody bothered about you, or you ended up with the peer group pressure, a lack of a peer group. So, you will come across each question. So, what are the negative traits? Is there anything negative you are carrying because of this thing? So, you will come across whatever I have given you, you can take in the WhatsApp or anything. You will come across what all the stages you pass through, this particular thing you can go through. So, in intra-uterine state, the first nine months until your birth, what has really hap happened? Anything happened? If there is nothing happened, don't worry. Anything remember, just feel it. That's all. Enough. You don't need to brood over it. You are not going to fight over it. You are just being aware of that. Then are you connected to your mother positively? First nine months, personally. How is it helpful in your personal life? Is there anything that did not work well? Or is it in, in any way connected to your community life? Find out. Third one, are you connected, how you are connected to father, father bonding, all those positive things have you cherished, any negative you remember, anything remember your negative, 9th to 9th month to 18th month. And next one is bonding with the family, how was your relation with the family, was it healthy or anybody else born immediately after you, before you, so for you, you lost the focus on you. So, as a result, what are things you carry in yourself? Any negative you are carrying? The fifth one is, is there any lack of neighborhood bonding? As a result, have you missed this third to five years at home or you are put in some English medium schools or LKG, UKG? How does it affect your personal life and community life? In the school bonding, how was your first five years in the school? How was it? was a teacher, how was the connection with the teacher or other friends. And next one is, from 19, 13 to 19 or 17 year old, how was your connection with your friends, your friendship, your peer group, what all things you are finding negative, did not get along. The next question, what are the characteristics, characters that you need to be attentive now? Any negative character? that you are seem to be carrying in your personal life and community life. Be attentive to that. Accept it. Own it. And see the change. The acceptance itself is a healing service. Healing. Therefore, these are things you may time, spend time with now. And you can uh, spend all these times. So, now I am going to give you some other, uh, uh, some other uh, thing very, very important. That is actually now we are going to the paper that is already given to you. Uh, you take the paper, the white paper, the number four, I am unwanted and my peculiar peculiarities from childhood. What are the experiences of pain and negativity I have been carrying on myself deep within me? Do you remember anything? Already I told you what are negatives. I don't like life, all those things. Then, second one is, could you guess how each of these negatives, negativities also have helped you to protect you from dangers, unwanted problems? Sometimes, what you consider negatives, they have been very good help for you, uh, very much helpful for you to develop yourself. And this is a very healthy one. Some of the negatives have come. Uh, have helped you also to overcome some of the difficulties that you face. 
or any such negativities help you already positive, positively. Then bonding, the third, third question, bonding. What are the negative traits you face in yourself today in your personal life and community as a result of the lack of bonding with others? The first one is stage, that is intra-uterine. What is the lack of bondage you come across? What is the impact it has made in your personal life? What is the impact it is making in your community or social life today? Then with regard to mother's bondage, the negativity you know, and you see whether it is lingering in your character now. That is very important. Whether that particular thing is negatively lingering in you. Then what are the characters that you need to be attentive? So remember what are the negative characters. Be attentive to that. You don't need to brood over that. Now, you remember what are the blessings you received from your parents, from your siblings, from your family, from your school, and teenage friends. And the negative character that you seem to be carrying still in your personal community life. You don't need to do or justify your behaviors, but accept the liabilities with full awareness to rise up moment by moment. Next question. Make into your personal prayer to take up this as a challenge to face in day, in day to day life. Look at Jesus with total confidence for total transformation. This is very important for you now to discuss. So, this, uh, the paper will be very helpful for you to spend some extra time. Sisters, this, 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 uh, this, by this, more or less, I concluded the basic things of our life. Some of the problems that are lingering on, some of the strength that we have come across, the way you are brought up, the way you are inside. Your religious congregation, your province, your community, your apostolate has a lot to do with your childhood experiences, your growth. All these things at the end will give you a marvelous contribution to the society at large. God has molded you. Your parents have molded you. Your congregation has molded you to be what you are today. You are capable of doing much more than what you are doing today. You are capable of living much happier life than you have been living today. So think of it. Spend time in deep silence. Thank God for all that you have received and start a new life, a life connected to God as a grace of God. So with this, we are finding up the first stage of understanding yourself. So I conclude once again. Look at yourself positively. Second, Remember all the positive traits that are already in you. 70% of all your time and energy must be spent about what is positively working in you. And 25% of all the time and energy must be led to action. And remember some other liabilities and accept it. The next one is, the remember the blessing that God has done in your life through your parents, your relatives, friends. You also know the shape psychology or psychogeometrics, the wonderful gifts that you have got already. The personal characters, the relational characters, the talents, all this forms you be what you are today to flourish. Remember this again and again positively. It is not a, just a psychology or understanding yourself. This is the whole total person. That's why we are working on, on total excellence. Spend sufficient time. Thank the Lord for what is happening now. Remember all the graces that is happening in your life. Remember to offer yourself as a choice as a blessing from God. Remember you are special. You are a grace. You are unique and you are holy. God loves you as you are. God values you. Value yourself now. Remember that you have come to contribute life life to the fullest. Thank God. Spend long duration of deep silence and gratefully remembering all the things that has happened in your life. If it is possible, sit with your mother, father, remain like a small baby, enjoy your life. Remember all the cherishing, wonderful qualities. Write down in your notebook 
with all your feelings and emotions. Thank you.